125, 60, 30, 15, 8, 4, 2, 1. This is it's a thought experiment. So half the people set, approximately half the people sat down every time they flipped the coin. Half of them get heads, half get tails. There's one person that's standing at the end. That person flipped heads 10 consecutive times. So who does the press go to? The press goes to that person and say, how do you feel about this? Well, I felt that head's energy about halfway through, and I kind of knew I was going to win. I felt, I, I saw heads on the thing. And did they interview anybody else who might have felt exactly the same way, but didn't flip heads 10 times in a row? Because they're on their way home now. They're not there for the interview. So we're thinking that this guy had some kind of clairvoyance about his fate, or that he prayed, or whatever. And so, whereas every time you do this experiment, basically, somebody flips heads 10 times in a row. And so we don't know how to handle coincidences or things that are rare for you, even if they're common in total. So yeah, no, whatever God is, God is not luck. We can demonstrate that mathematically.